this is Oliver, founder of Strong for Life. In this video, I'm going to talk about the number one most important principle of strength training, which is the continuous cycle of load, recovery, and adaptation. Now let me explain. When we train, when we apply a load to our body, for example, a 200 kilo deadlift, a stress is applied to the body. When we apply the stress, the body mobilizes resources, nervous system, muscle contraction, energy usability, it creates a response to the load. When the load and the response finish, so after the workout, the body goes into repair or recovery mode. It uses its resources to repair the damage created in the workout. For example, the heart rate goes up, so the body can pump more blood into the system to repair the muscles. Now once the recovery from that workout has finished, the body adapts to a higher level. For example, it lays down more muscle tissue, it lays down stronger nervous system connections, so it will be able to handle the next heavier stimulus in anticipation. Because the body thinks, oh hang on, that person just did a workout, 200 kilo deadlift, Man, that person is serious. So I need to make sure that I'm prepared in anticipation for a next coming high load. When the body adapts to a newer level, it goes back to one, it can apply a higher load next time. So this is the never ending cycle of load, recovery and adaptation in our training. This is the most fundamental concept to understand of how the body changes and improves over time as well as figuring out, if we don't improve, what has gone wrong across the way. For the load, it is important to increase progressively the weight on the bar over time. If we don't apply a heavy enough load, then there's no reason for the body to recover from it because it already knows the trigger. And because there's no reason to recover, there's no reason to adapt to a higher level. So it is important to progressively increase the weight on the bar over time. This is the most important factor to consider in our training if we want to keep changing our strength, physique, whatever it is. In terms of recovery, we have to make sure that the applied load can lead to better adaptations, that our recovery in between is spot on. That means looking after two factors in particular. One is nutrition and the other one is sleep. For nutrition, we need to make sure that we provide the body with enough building blocks so it can A, build more muscle and to create a stronger nervous system. If we don't provide those building blocks, imagine you want to build a house and you don't have enough bricks left. How are you going to build this new house? It's not going to work. Nutrition works just like that. It helps us repair the damage and create a new house or a new body after that workout. In particular, we want to eat at least at maintenance calories or even in a caloric surplus. So we have enough resources for the body to transform the load into a new adaptation. Sleep works the same way. In order, especially for the hormonal processes to repair the damage from the workout, to recover, to build new muscle tissue, it needs to have sufficient sleep. Six to eight hours per night 
are spot on, also in quality. Now in terms of adaptation, once we've recovered, the body has adapted to a high level. Now we need to make sure that once the body has reached this level, that the next load is being applied at the right time. If I rest too long between two different loads, say in the same muscle group, then the body loses this adaptation if the gap is too long. For example, you bench press on a Monday and then you don't bench press again until the next Tuesday, so eight days later. Well, what has happened? After the first stimulus, the body has recovered and has reached a higher level. However, that higher level only lasts for so long. So it has gone back again, pretty much to its starting level if you wait for too long. So the stimulus has to be applied again with the right timing. Now, there's no such a thing as optimal timing. We do figure that out with our own training experience when it is best to apply a load again in the same movement. I would suggest bench press on the Monday and then Thursday again. So it means you have three full days in between to recover from that stressor and adapt to it and then the new load is applied. So this is the most fundamental principle of strength training and enhancing our progression on that journey. It is so important to understand because it's a simple concept and it allows us to analyze either one of the three parts if things don't go the way we want. Load, recovery, adaptation, provide the next stimulus at the right timing again. I can guarantee you one thing. If you follow this principle in a smart, intelligent and dedicated way, I guarantee you 150%, the fictional 150%, that you will get stronger, change your physique, improve your sleep, improve your health, improve your mental strength over time. If you would like to know more, do get in touch. I'm happy to assist you further. Thanks for watching.